the purpose of this hi welcome everybody the purpose of this video is I'd like to highlight uh, the one last item here that you'll find on the home page you'll notice as you navigate throughout the course uh, on a weekly basis you'll come into the course and on Sundays uh, which is when the basically a week would start you'll notice that there'll be a new week available for you to uh, participate in submit assignments etc and this first one that we find here obviously is week one so let's go ahead and go into week one again like I said everything that you'll need for a specific week is found within these weekly learning modules kinda like you're going into a classroom for a week or, or, or coming to class for that specific week when you come into a week, one thing that you need to notice is the table of contents. Sometimes the content in the table of contents could be collapsed, and you might need to expand that if you wanted to quickly jump to a specific uh, item within the learning module. All of your table of contents are organized with, by lectures, additional resources, ex exercises, and activities. And I'll talk specifically about those here in just a second. The first, I'm going to move this out of the way just to give us a little bit more real estate. You'll also, don't forget, you can navigate through your learning modules by clipping on these navigational links here up the top. Um, the first page of every learning module is just an introduction. Imagine this is what I would be saying to you at the very beginning of class to introduce the week. Be sure that you read it and pay attention to it. In terms of objectives, these are the specific things you need to make sure that you are able to do by the end of the week. Let's go ahead and navigate. The next area is you'll be getting to uh, the lecture material. Again, the lecture material, depending on the week, depending on what we have to cover, could be just a few pages or it might just be one page. Or this week it's actually like maybe eight or ten pages. Um, this week we're talking specifically about the Internet and how it affects our lives, uh, etc. That's specifically in terms of this Internet and Society page. Um, different pages could have videos, it could have images, it could have text. Um, so be sure that you read all this information. There's a lot to cover here within this first week. And here on the second page, there's actually a video here that you can watch within this page where I talk about Internet and history. Then I talk about Internet and today. And then the next page, uh, this is a key point to kind of mention. That we're uh, we're going to be utilizing the web design and development life cycle within this course. And here's where I kind of start talking about that. If you took Co-op 2000 with me, um, in previous semesters, uh, this is a very we utilize the pretty much the same process, except your book has uh, organizes the phases a little bit differently, and I also added in the analysis phase. Um, but anyways, we're going to be utilizing this process to be able to uh, consult with our clients uh, for our term projects. So be sure that you read all that information on the syllabus and the course overview, and then. Some other things that we talk about this week is we're going to be talking about the internet and the user. We're going to be talking about user agents. Let's see. Come on, internet. Depending on your connection, you know, the course could go a little, a little slower. Then we're going to be talking about website types. Specifically in this, specifically in this course, we're going to be dealing with the informational type websites. And then we're also going to be talking about job security this week a little bit. And then within the additional resources area, you're going to notice that there's going to be a presentation that pops up from Chapter 1. This will load in Adobe Presenter. So as long as your browser is set up to be able to view Adobe Presenter files, which are basically fl uh, flash files, you can view them. Whenever you first go into it, depending on how your browser, how large it is, it could be kind of collapsed. And what you can do is you can click on this button and expand it to see the different notes and ability to search the PowerPoint. Then we also, in a second here, I'm going to talk more about Linda, but there's the page that tells you about what Linda videos that you should be viewing this week. Uh, this week there's about uh, about 30 to 45 minutes worth of videos for you to view, and we'll talk about that here in just another second for another video. Then the very last page, HTML page in, in a weekly learning module, is just basically a list of activities. So here I tell you about some different readings that, I, that you're supposed to be reading, specifically the introduction from Chapter 1. Again, don't forget you can get the introduction from the textbook e-reserves area on the home page. Then here's just another resource for you that you could read. Um, and then I list any discussion questions you're supposed to be completing. Uh, this week you have your class introduction. You have your first post in your term project journal. And you're going to be asking your client these specific questions. And then your assignments. So this week you're supposed to be submitting to me your term project choices and then you're also your HTML file from your um, introductory uh, exercise. Actually, it's not an HTML file this week. It's actually a, a file that you're going to submit in Microsoft Word. And then the final areas of the course is just places where you can actually submit those specific assignments to me. So, thanks.